Hey everyone, my name is Ethan and I've got the scoop on peanut butter. Contrary to popular belief, peanut butter is not actually made of nuts. Weird, right? Well, that's because peanuts, which comprise at least 90% of peanut butter, are not technically nuts. Peanuts are part of the legume family, along with beans, peas, and lentils, but are oftentimes associated with tree nuts because of their nutritional makeup and how they are consumed in the diet. In the Dietary Guidelines for Americans, peanut butter is found in the protein foods group. One tablespoon of peanut butter is considered to be nutritionally equivalent to one ounce of lean meat, poultry, and seafood. Peanut butter is also jam-packed with fiber, heart-healthy fats, an array of vitamins and minerals, and plant-based compounds that are important for good health. Together, the nutrients found in peanut butter offer an array of health benefits from regulating blood pressure and improving cholesterol levels and digestive health to reducing the risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Peanut butter is also rich in folate, which decreases the risk of birth defects in developing babies. Because peanut butter is high in healthy fats, it is also high in calories, which means you have to be careful not to eat half a jar in one sitting. Peanut allergies can develop at any point in time, but are most common during childhood. To decrease the risk of your child developing a peanut allergy, early introduction is key. Peanut containing products can be introduced to mothers during pregnancy and infants as early as four to six months if there are no pre-existing concerns and they're already eating solid foods. If introducing peanut butter into an infant's diet, start by thinning two teaspoons of peanut butter with two to three teaspoons of warm water, or mix two teaspoons of peanut butter with two to three tablespoons of baby food or cereal. Whatever you do, just remember not to use chunky peanut butter as whole and half peanuts are a major choking hazard. Whether it's used as a dip for fruits and vegetables, a spread on whole wheat bread, or an ingredient in a sauce, soup, or smoothie, peanut butter is a nutritional addition to a variety of foods. Flourless peanut butter bread, which I'll be making today, that bakes, tastes, and looks similar to wheat bread. This is an easy recipe that would be perfect for your kids to help with. What began as a simple vegetarian protein alternative has become one of the most affordable and nutritious food items available. Did I mention it's delicious? So whether it's creamy, chunky, crunchy, or smooth, you can feel good about diving into your favorite jar. Just remember, moderation is key.